Hello, everyone. Welcome to this sweet and short yoga class to wake up the body. We'll get started in a comfortable seated position. On your inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, release your hands in prayer at the heart. Closing your eyes, bring awareness to your breath. Notice the coolness of the air as it enters your nostrils and the warmth of the air as it leaves your nostrils. Notice how by simply paying attention to your breath, it has perhaps become deeper. Come back to your breath whenever you need during class, throughout the day, to ground yourself and feel more present. Gently open your eyes and sit on your heels at the back of your mat. Start walking your fingertips away from you, coming into a child's pose. Propping your hands on the fingertips with the palms lifted, rest your forehead down on the earth. Round your hips down towards your heels. Breathe into the shoulders. Keep your hips connected to your heels and start crawling the fingertips all the way to the right, feeling a stretch along the left side body, breathing into the left shoulder. Take a deep breath and start crawling your fingertips all the way to the left. Keep your hips where they are and start breathing into the right side body. Gently start making your way back to center into our child's pose and when you're ready you will slowly roll forward onto your hands and knees coming into a tabletop inhale and arch your spine gaze up stretching the throat and exhale round your spine and press back into child's pose and again coming forward arch your spine and lift your gaze lift your tailbone and now tucking your tailbone, press back into child's pose. One more, inhaling as you come forward and arch your spine and exhaling as you press back into a child's pose. Last one, coming forward, arch your spine and exhale round, staying in the tabletop for a cat cows. Inhaling, lifting the chin up, lifting the tailbone. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhaling, arch. And exhaling, round. Last time, lifting your gaze. And now press the left hand into the mat and reach the right arm up, taking a gentle twist. Releasing the hand down and switch sides, inhaling as the left arm reaches up and exhale as you release it back down. Keep your hips above your knees and start walking your hands away from you for puppy. You can release your forehead to the mat or your chin. Keep lifting the sit bones up, pressing through the palms, engaging your arms and allowing your heart to melt towards the mat. Feeling as if someone is gently pressing between your two shoulder blades, allowing your chest to open and your heart to sink deeper towards the ground. Feeling the stretch along the shoulders. And now when you're ready, you'll roll forward into a sphinx pose. Collarbones are wide and lifting your gaze. Shoulders away from the ears. Now release. And place your fingertips outside the mat, bending your elbows. Inhale, rolling up. And exhale, rolling down. Inhaling, lifting your chest and your chin. And exhale, releasing back down. Taking gentle waves through the upper spine in our cobra rolls. Keep going. 
Now this time, as you lift, you will twist, lowering your right shoulder down. Inhale, coming to center, and exhale, lower the left shoulder down. Inhale, coming back up, and lower your palms down to the mat for Cobra. You can be lifted as high as you like, or bend your elbows for a gentler heart opening. Keep pressing your chest forward, shoulders down and away from the ears, maybe extending your arms. Gently lowering back down, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes and press back through bent knees into a downward facing dog. Start walking out the dog, bending one knee at a time, pedaling your heels. Now come to stillness and shorten the dog. Grounding down through the right hand, reach back towards your right ankle with your left hand for a twist. Maybe gazing up from underneath your right shoulder, feeling an extension and twist. Release your hand back down and switch. Right hand towards outer left ankle, twisting your body and gazing up from underneath your left shoulder. Inhale back to center and walk your feet towards your hands. Grab opposite elbows and bend your knees as much as you need to feel a release in your lower back and to allow yourself to gently sway from side to side like a rag doll. Now find stillness, relaxing your neck, allowing your head to hang. Gently start rolling your spine up, one vertebrae at a time. Releasing your arms by the side of the body, inhale, reach up. And exhale, releasing the prayer to your heart. Inhale, reaching up once more. Now interlace your fingers behind your back and start opening your chest, gazing up, pulling the knuckles down and back. Now bend your knees and fold over your legs, releasing the arms overhead. From here you may extend your knees and allow your arms to release further. Try to keep your elbows extended and palms clasped. Inhaling, re-bend your knees and sweep your arms up for chair pose. Interlace your fingers and flip your palms up and take a gentle back bend. Keep sitting lower in your chair. Inhale, extend your legs. Exhale, come back into chair with your palms flipped up and take a side bend over to the right. Keep extending your elbows and sitting lower in your hips. Inhale, reach up and exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. And exhale, fold halfway, stomach to thighs. Inhaling, lifting your chest, keeping belly to thighs, and lower halfway. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. One more, lift, lower, and now fold all the way down. Inhaling, halfway lengthen through your spine. And exhale, step back into plank. Shifting your weight forward, bending your elbows, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, gaze up. Exhale, press back to down dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank. And lower all the way down to the mat this time. Interlacing your fingers behind your back. Start lifting your chest off the mat for locust pose. And now lift the legs up as well and keep lifting, reaching back with your hands, lifting your chest even higher, lifting your legs higher and gently lower down. Extend your arms in a T-shape. 
inhaling lifting the left leg exhale step the foot outside of your mat for a twist in the lower body keeping your chest connected to the mat inhale back to center lift the leg high and lower it down once again same leg lifts and you'll step it outside of your right leg now you'll use your left hand on the mat to press yourself away from the mat stacking your left shoulder over the right and resting your head down on the mat option to bend both knees and place the soles of the feet on the floor for a deeper twist and stretch inhale coming back to center extend both arms again and lift the right leg up high and then step the foot outside of your mat for a twist in the lower body keeping your chest to the mat your shoulders connected to the mat inhale back to center and lift that leg up high now lower it down and once again you'll lift the leg and step it outside of your left leg now you can use your right hand on the mat to press yourself away from the floor to stack the right shoulder on top of the left once again you have the option to place both feet on the mat bending the knees for a much deeper stretch if necessary at all And now you will release the legs away from you, roll back onto your belly, and press yourself back into a child's pose. Finding your deep belly breath here, lengthening the spine. Sit upright, and when you're ready, you'll sweep your legs forward. And we're going to come into a forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale start folding over your legs keep lengthening the spine especially the lower back see if you can grab the outer edges of the feet and start lengthening even more or maybe you would like to hold on to a wrist grabbing it over your feet wherever you are keep taking the deep breaths Keep looking for the connection between your thighs and your belly. Inhale, roll up. And now bring the soles of your feet together for butterfly pose. You can use your hands to push the knees away from each other. If you need a deeper stretch. And now you can start folding forward. Walking your hands away from you, you can rest on your forearms. Or maybe you'd like to grab the feet and use your elbows to push the knees away from each other. Inhale, come back up. And you can take a windscreen wipe of your knees to release any tension in your hips now let's come back to a seated position to seal off our practice inhale arms reach up and exhale hands at the heart in anjali mudra and prayer position closing your eyes welcome the sense of gratitude into your heart and into your body you can bow down towards your hands towards your heart and bow all the way down to the earth namaste thank you so much for practicing with me today i hope you enjoyed this class and i hope to see you again 
If you like this video and would like to flow with me more, please don't forget to like the video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.